Hi and welcome to our search engine optimization tutorial. In this video and the next few videos we're going to learn how to get your website listed or indexed in the two major search engines uh, that most people use Google and Bing. After we've done that we're going to learn how to get our web page to rank better but um, at the start we're just going to learn how to um, get our web page into those search engines to um, start off. Now a lot of times people just kind of assume that Google knows everything and therefore as soon as you publish a web page Google's going to find it and include it and the same thing with Bing. And that isn't entirely true. Some websites Google does find by accident. Um, usually because somebody has linked to your site and Google was indexing um, their website. But for the most part, everybody needs to go through a very deliberate um, set of steps in order to get your website listed in Google and Bing. Just simply leaving it to um, chance, um, it will take um, months um, for Google to actually find your website and to um, list it and index it um, for people. Um, but if you go about the process that Google and Bing have laid out for getting your site into um, uh, their index, that's going to speed that process up um, quite a bit. And you'll go from waiting months to getting your website in uh, the search engines to uh, maybe just waiting um, one or two weeks to get your um, um, website listed. Now there is no guarantees at all when it comes to getting your website listed in um, um, search engines. But if you follow the steps in the next few videos, 99% of websites should get indexed by Google and Bing within 30 days of you actually finishing this process. So that's where you should um, definitely start off at. Now I've gone ahead and opened up one of uh, my templates here. The template is called Simple Clean and that's going to be the um, sample website that um, I work in to show you how to um, get your website set up with search engines. You can use whatever website you want. Um, if you are currently working on a website um, I'd probably recommend you um, work on uh, that website and actually um, at the end of these videos um, you'll have accomplished something for yourself. Uh, but if this is a learning exercise for you and you don't have a website um, set up uh, yet you can definitely download the uh, Simple Clean template and um, there's a link in the um, description of this video um, to a page on how to get this template if you wanted to work um, with it. Now the first step in getting your websites listed in Google and Bing is to actually put the correct codes into the different pages in your website. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my index.html file here and that's my home page. And again, you're going to want to do this on every page in your website. But um, the first place you're going to want to start, obviously, is going to be your home page. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And the first thing that you should do is you should place these two what are called meta tags on your web page. Now, the first meta tag here basically tells a search engine when it comes along or a robot when it comes along to index your website or to index this page and follow all the links that are on this page and index the pages that they link to. So you're definitely going to want to go ahead and place this tag on your uh, page. Now if there are some pages in your website that you do not want Google to index for whatever reason. If you don't want Google, Bing, or other search engines to uh, look at a particular page, you're going to want to obviously not put that tag on. You're going to want to put another 
set of meta tags on. And the set of meta tags that you're going to use are going to be these three right here. And you can see, I need to scroll over just a little bit so you can see the rest of that there. And this is going to tell all different kinds of search engines not to look at a particular page. So if I was to place these tags on my page, that tells the search engine when it comes to my page, don't index this. On the other hand, if it finds a search engine comes to my page and it finds this tag here, this is saying, yes, index my site and follow all the links that are on my site. So you're going to want to place one um, of the set of tags on your page. Now, the next tag that we have here is again for search engines. And you're going to see the content of this meta tag says no image index. Now, what this meta tag will do here is combined with this one, it tells a search engine, okay, you can look at this web page and you can include the content of my web page in your regular index, but don't index any of the images that are on my page. And what that basically is going to do is we've all gone to Google before or another search engine and looked for something like web design. And we know we get all of our normal search results here. But we also can click on images here and it's going to bring up an image search result. If you want Google to index your images and to have your images appear here, you're going to want to omit this tag here. But if you want to prevent search engines from including your images in their index, you're going to want to include this tag here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to set up those robot meta tags. The second thing that you're going to do is you're going to put a title, a description, and keywords on your page. Now the first of these, a title, is fairly self-explanatory. You just go ahead and open a title tag and type whatever um, you would title your page. Now this is actually very important because when you come to your search engine and you type something in, the search engine has to know what to put here. You know, what's going to be the title for that entry. And most search engines, that's also the link that you click on. What appears here is the content of the title tag. So every single page in your website should have a title tag. And it should be descriptive of what that page is, um, um, is about. Um, and none of your titles should be the same for any of your pages. Having duplicate titles um, for your pages um, is a huge mistake um, in search engine optimization. And what a lot of people um, do is if the main title they want is website by Timothy Web Design, they might omit that there and type welcome since this is the home page dash and then website by Timothy Web Design. And then when they get to the about page, they might have, whoops, they might have the exact same general format, but you might do about website by Timothy Web Design. And your titles can be as long as you want them to be. But again, you need to remember that you've only got so many characters available to you here. So if you make your title too long, like this individual has here, 
you just get the three dots there. So you can make your titles as long as you want. Be aware that search engines are only going to show a certain number of characters for you there. And you'll also see there's a short description here, a short two line description. And what is there is going to be whatever you've placed in the description meta tag. So whatever I place here, that's going to be the description that appears when this page appears in my search engine results. And again, that description should describe the unique content that's on that page. And you shouldn't have any duplicate descriptions. Now, the final meta tag that you need to place on your page is the keywords meta tag right here. And you go ahead and you place your keywords into this tag. Like I could do web design service and then a comma. And if my second, um, if my second keyword is Los Angeles web design, and my third keyword is um, LA web design studio. You just keep listing your keywords out just like that, separating them with a comma. Now, these keywords don't appear anywhere in the search engine results. They're purely internal for a search engine to look at. Now, it used to be that this, and probably still is, that this was a really abused feature on um, web pages. So search engines began sort of discounting the information that's in the keywords uh, meta tag. And a lot of people um, you'll hear um, say that you no longer need to include a keywords meta tag on your page. And that isn't true. Well, the keywords tag is, isn't as important as it was five or 10 years ago. It still is a factor in your search engine rankings. And the way this keyword um, tag will be the most effective for you here is if the keywords that appear in this tag also appear in the text on, your, on this actual web page. And that way Google sort of knows and other search engines know that you're not just sort of spamming keywords up here but that the keywords, and when I say keyword, I really mean keyword or key phrase, um, does have something to do with the actual content that's on your page. Um, so while it isn't as important as these other elements, it should be something that you include on um, your page. Unlike the title and the description, however, your keywords are oftentimes the same on every page. Sometimes they're different, but oftentimes they will be the same. So while you wouldn't want to have duplicate titles or descriptions, having duplicate keywords isn't um, a bad um, um, isn't a bad uh, practice. As long as the keywords that appear in this tag also appear in the content on your um, page. Well, now we have all the necessary tags set up on our um, page. So we're ready to go ahead and go to Google and Bing and tell them that my website exists and is ready for them to come visit and index. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. We're going to um, see how to get your website set up first in Google Webmaster Tools and second in Bing Webmaster Tools. So I will see you in the next video.